Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. First a down resistance ship, now a Novacore one. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Novacore weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. If that bomber's full of old dead Nova, maybe we could, uh, you know, lighten their pockets? By now, scavengers would have scattered the bones across the region. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe someone was trying to fix up the old bomber. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Here should be good. Count on me. What do you think made this place worth fighting over? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe the ships we've seen just got taken down by the storms. See anything useful up there? I'm starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Yo, Quill! Check out the upper wing strut! Looks pretty compromised to me! Alright! Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This unit is tremendous. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. Drax, you still out there? Uh, indeed. Anything you can do, like climb down that craggy wall. And what then? Did you allow me to launch you over the cliff? You frowned upon launching the rodent. He still frowns on that. Come on. Ask the assassin. Perfect. Thanks, Drax. What purpose does it serve over here? You'll see, you'll see. Just be patient. I see. I see. No giant monster. All good. I wonder if I can get down there. Peter! Try jumping! Are we sure we want to go back up? Here goes nothing. Woo! <laughs> that was fun! Did he perish? Hey, Quill! You dead? No! Wow! <laughs> I'm alive! Ooh, right here! Wedge it in! Alright! Is this good? Yeah! Amazing! Perhaps. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, any sign of the giant thing in the ravine? Oh, yeah. We made a deal. He can eat fruit first. Just messing with you, bud. Can we get to the top of the ship now? <clears throat> Maybe they are plant food. Hey, big guy, lift that thing up.
Here looks good. Understood. Surprised this thing hasn't been picked clean for sale. What next? Here it will. Feels like yesterday, in all the worst ways. Agreed. Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories! Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's got bigger, that for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax. Well, you gotta see this ship. Okay, <sighs> here we go. Oh, slimy. Uh, guys, you might want to wait to come down here. <sighs> oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam voice? Uh, you think? Some schmack breach. Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. It's like it's what? Like Clark, Clark. Ah. Quill. Quill. They I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls scud like this. Just come on, dude. Just leave the let guns me, alone. Me, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys. Sorcery. Here we go again.
Climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. It would give us some steps to climb. Worth a shot. Wonder if we can get anything to pop out of the side of that wreck. Come on, Quill. Let me get a look at them guns. No, you're not tinkering with my only means of defense. Quill, check if that sucker's got any cannons we can use. Rocket, you could fit through that hole. Maybe hack something from the inside to make a step. How am I supposed to even get up there? Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Ah, impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold Drax. Can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. I, I cannot hold it forever. Why will you not yield? Because it's attached to a recoily thing. You sure that's the term for it? Yes. Drax, can you try again? No, I can't do scud from outside this gym. Succumb to me! Impressive, Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shitari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Drax, can you drag? Oh, what reeks in here? That. Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Mark it. I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Don't let it go. He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> Yep, yeah. and dry now, too. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. That is not a happy monster. Oh, man. Another murder tentacle. Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! You are dead! Dead! No! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. 
just be a lesson to you. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Lady Hellbender... Let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. Your speculation is also conceivable. Cross it, maybe we can go around it. Looking for cracks, caves, or crevices, people. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Ugh. Anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret huh? That is disturbingly fragrant. After you. Uh, uh. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Later. Like that. I can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste, but The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Don't uh, the tentacle thing. Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem oh, is, there's a pissed off monster way. inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Let me 
beast did not go down gently. More! Come to me, beast! <laughs> you are coming with me. We better hurry. Uh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True. But especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Sacknarf ain't never heard of roads? You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worse. For you, maybe. I love easy. So, when are the rest of us gonna get jet boots? It takes years of special training to operate these things. You had years of jet boot lessons. No, but the guy I took them off of did. Who stole them? He was dead. Flew into a ceiling fan. with Lady A. We're gonna fight a monster queen? She would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. It's gonna go fine, right, Groot? <laughs> yeah, you being Groot is exactly the problem. in line for the throne if Lady Hellbender has an accident. Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. That thing have equal. Surprisingly light. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, Quill. Better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. No, it ain't. Hey, what did the tree say? He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. In your case, that is doubtful. I agree with Groot. It's important to stay hydrated. Not this hydrated. Definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the fuck? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? 
So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far. What if we've been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way. Let's just get this done. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh! Right! Cage. The point of even getting the flarkin' thing is looking like a new business. Group. You ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one that I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drac. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Response good to soothing tones. Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we could sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. clicks. 13 whole years. Look at you. 
Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Traveling through space must be amazing. The final battle was awesome. Looked like the heroes were done for, but they pulled it off. We'll bring hell down from above. We'll be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars. Wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Mom says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that something growing inside of you. Is slowly taking over. Who decided to finally come up? Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight? Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I'd want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were 
standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. You know, I was talking to Janie's mom the other day. Uh, here we go. She's a lovely girl, Peter. She listens to disco, Mom. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. 